everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey and in today's video I want to talk about packing light. I spend a lot of time on this channel discussing the power of packing light and how I'm a huge fan of bringing only a carry-on, especially when traveling abroad. I think it makes it a lot easier. You don't run the risk of losing your luggage and then it also makes it a lot faster. You don't have to worry about missing connections while you're waiting for your luggage. So in today's video I'm going to go over a lot of the tips that I've shared in past videos. A lot of those videos are older and of lesser quality, so I want to make sure you have everything in a nice concise spot that's easy to hear and follow along. And then I'm also going to show you how I take those steps and apply them to a real trip. So I'm heading to London very soon. I'll be gone for about a week and like always I'm bringing just a carry-on. So I'm going to demonstrate all of these tips in real life for that trip. The first thing I like to do while planning a travel capsule is to do a lot of research. So I will look at the weather to expect while I'm away, both on my weather app and then weather.com, as well as some average temperatures and precipitation levels. And then I also like to do some research on local dress codes. So what do people tend to wear in the destination I'm visiting? And then I'll also try to find some old packing guides, things that people have brought and had success with. I find that this step is really helpful in ensuring that I kind of narrow down my overall closet. So I will go through everything that I have and then remove anything I know isn't going to work. So in this case, I don't need sundresses because it's October. I definitely don't need anything too, too casual because it's a city, um, city uh, vacation. And then I also tend to gravitate more towards darker pieces when traveling. So I'll remove anything white, for example, and uh, definitely no white bottoms. I find that they're way too accident prone while on vacation. And it helps me just start with a smaller selection overall, which then makes it easier to move on to my next step. So next, I like to pick my color palette. Just like a cohesive color palette helps my entire wardrobe go together, I find that having a color palette for travel is also very beneficial. It makes, um, makes it so that everything goes together. I can mix and match really easily and ensure that I'm not bringing anything that's gonna be kind of a wild card. So for me, when traveling, I tend to focus mostly on darker neutrals as my base. I find that they're easier to travel with. They don't show stains and scuffs and marks and general travel casualties as easily. So I tend to bring a lot of black or navy, and then I will accent that with accessories. So my accent colors tend to be represented in jackets and scarves and jewelry occasionally, and sometimes footwear. And so in this case, I'm working with a very neutral palette overall with a couple bright pops for some added color to help liven up my looks. Now for the fun part, I like to actually plan out my outfits. So I will take a lot of time and try everything on. All of the pieces I've narrowed down to fit the activities, the location, the customs, and the color palette that I'm working with, I will mix and match all of those and really get a feel for what's working right now. What do I feel good in? What feels appropriate for the time of the year and where I'm going? And then every time I really like an outfit, I'll snap a picture and save it in my phone. I find that it's really helpful to have some inspiration while you're feeling a little jet lagged once you get to where you're headed. And then it's also a really great way to ensure you're not bringing too much because you can really see how you rewear the same pair of pants a couple different ways. Another thing I like to do during this process is set aside my travel outfit. So once I have a pretty good idea of the pieces I'm bringing, I will set aside the bulkier items to wear on the plane and that will be my travel look. So I like to wear my heavier sweaters, definitely my heaviest jacket, and then my booties. I tend to love ankle booties for a city break or city vacation. And then I really like to wear black pants. For me, they're really easy. I have a pair from H&M that they sadly don't make anymore, but they are great. They're an elastic waist. They're really comfortable, but they look kind of dressy. And then I'll wear a t-shirt or a sweater since I do get cold. And then like I mentioned earlier, my heaviest jacket. That tends to save a lot of space in my suitcase, but make sure that I look a little bit nicer than pajamas, but still feel very, very comfortable. So for this trip, I'm bringing way more jackets than I definitely need because I'm so excited for jacket weather. So I'm bringing a total of four. The first is my new plaid jacket and then my barber because it's waterproof and it's so perfect and warm. And then my tweed jacket from J. Crew. This is really old. I got this a couple years ago and I really love it, but I don't wear it that much, so I really want to enjoy it this trip. And then also my favorite J. Crew rusty brown colored blazer. It's a beautiful herringbone and it feels perfectly English. I'm also bringing four bottoms, two black pants, one pair of jeans, and one black skirt. 
And then for sweaters, I'm bringing this black cashmere sweater from Everlane. This is one of their newer launches that I was very graciously given a couple days ago, and I really like it. It's a nice relaxed style. It has an open neckline, which is very flattering, and it's perfect for either my skirt, my pants, or my jeans, and I think it's gonna be a great option for the chilly weather. I'm also bringing my Natum cashmere sweater. This is in their dark ginger color, and I really love this sweater. It's a perfect color for fall, and it's very cozy. I'm also bringing my Everlane Cotton Crew in this really nice green color. It looks really good with the plaid coat. I'm very excited to wear it. And then I'm bringing plenty of t-shirts because they're so small, they take up no space in your luggage, and they're so easy to layer up and down. And I like to have a little bit more than I need just in case I get wet, caught in the rain, or I stain one. I don't have to worry about washing it. So I'm bringing two long sleeve black, one short sleeve black that also can be worn off the shoulder, and then two white short sleeve. I'm also bringing two white shirts, my mango puffy sleeve option, and then my non-iron Brooks Brothers white button down. I love this for travel because it's iron free, so I don't have to worry about steaming or ironing, and it looks great under everything else that I'm wearing. And I'm also bringing four scarves, because I love scarves for dressing up even really simple outfits. They look great over all of the, ba um, the black bases that I have, since I do have a very neutral capsule here. And then they're also really easy to pack, because they take up no space in your luggage. And then for shoes, I'm bringing two pairs. I'm bringing my Mark Fisher Yale ankle boots because they're so comfortable. They're really great for walking long distances and they also keep my feet relatively dry in the rain. And then also my Chanel Ballet flats. I love these because they're very versatile. They're so comfortable. I am a huge fan of ballet flats. They're very comfortable for me to wear and I can walk long distances in them. But if you aren't comfortable with ballet flats, then definitely leave these at home and swap this for a pair that you're comfortable walking long distances in because the last thing you want is to bring a pair of shoes that are gonna make your feet ache. And for me, ballet flats are really comfortable, but I know they aren't for everyone. So now that I have all of my clothing sorted, I like to redirect my attention to my toiletries and I like to break them into a couple categories. So here in the top, you can see my plastic quart container that I have all of my liquids in. This has all of my skincare, my shampoo, conditioner, all the liquidy type personal care items that I could possibly need. And then here I've got all of my hair care items that aren't liquid. So I have my powder dry shampoo, um, a texturizing spray that I'm gonna throw in at the last minute, and then also some hair ties and miscellaneous things. And then in this glossy pink pouch, I have some cotton pads for my toner and then some Q-tips for when I do my makeup. To ensure that all of my liquids fit into that little quart size container, I like to decant and depot things. So here you can see my shampoo that I've taken from the large full size and put it into this little travel size. And then I also have my perfume atomizer. It's a great way to bring along your favorite scent without having to pack the full bottle. And then I also have some facial moisturizer that I've put into a small little container so I don't have to bring the entire thing with me. Another thing I like to do to save space in my liquids container is to bring sample sizes of some of my favorites or even things that I wanna try. So here you can see a selection that I'm bringing. I've got a really small hand cream, some body wash, a lip balm, and then my hair, uh, my hair polishing cream that I'm really liking at the moment in a nice little travel size. And then of course, I've got my makeup and my makeup brushes. So here in this little makeup bag, this is the smaller from the Kuyana Leather Travel Set. I have my fall capsule makeup collection. I will be sharing all of that, including my routine while I'm in London. So be on the lookout for that video. And then in this really cute little small container, I have my makeup brushes. This is a travel size brush container from Bobbi Brown. It came with some really small brushes and I also added a few to it. It's really small, really slim, and fits perfectly in my carry-on. And then I'm also bringing my straightening iron. I really love this one by GHD, as you know, because it's great for just smoothing the small bits that I have to adjust now that I've had my keratin. And it's also dual voltage, so it works beautifully overseas. And then I'm also bringing this wide tooth comb in lieu of a hairbrush. And the only reason is because I've been trying to not brush my hair while it's dry and only comb it when it's wet. It's an experiment that I'm doing and so far it's working really well. Inside of my personal care bag, I'm also gonna put my handbag. And for this trip, I'm bringing my crossbody. 
I really love crossbody when traveling, especially going to a city because it's very easy. It keeps me hands free, but I can also flip it to the front of me to keep things nice and secure while on public transit or in large crowds. And then I have all of my electronic type things. So my phone charger with a really long cord that my parents gave me and then some adapters. These are very, very important to remember if you're traveling overseas. And then also to just triple check that you have the correct adapters because they aren't universal for all European countries, for example. And then of course my headphones. And all of those things fit very nicely into this small container that came with my away personal bag. And last but not least is my passport, of course. And then I like to bring some painkillers just so I have them in case I get a headache. And then band-aids just in case and an umbrella so I don't get caught in the rain without one. And as you can see, everything fits very nicely into this personal bag. This is the personal bag that Away gave me when they gifted me the suitcase, and it's really nice. It's nice and sturdy, it's wipeable, so as you can see, it's got some marks on it here. You can just wipe those off. And then it's also very roomy, so it fits underneath the seat like it's supposed to, but it also fits a ton. Now the only thing left to do is to pack everything away, and I like to put my clothing into packing cubes. I love them because they keep me organized and they really just make everything look nice and tidy. And as you can see in this packing cube, I was able to fit all of my clothing, excluding my travel outfit and then my jackets, and of course my bulkiest jacket, which I will wear on the plane. And once it's all zipped up and good to go, it fits perfectly here into my suitcase. And then I flip this over, secure everything in place, and that will stay exactly as it is until I land. Now for my rust blazer and my black jacket, I don't have to worry about them wrinkling or creasing since they're relatively sturdy. So I just fold them and put them into packing cubes. But to do that, I like to button the fronts, flip them over and then fold the sleeves over each other and then fold it in half. And I will stack them on top of each other into the packing cube. And then also what I did in this case was I took my scarves that I'm bringing, excluding the Savina Savage, cause that's my largest scarf and I'm gonna wear that on the plane. And then I rolled those into nice little tubes and put them into a reusable little pouch that I have and then put that on top and zipped everything in place. And then that fits perfectly into this spot right here, leaving just enough space for my smallest packing cube, which has my socks, my underwear, my pajamas, all that good stuff. And then I put my ballet flats in a shoe bag right on top, zip everything in place, and I'm good to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.